Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be making a carbonara pasta, spaghetti carbonara to be uh, specific with my noodle. Uh, you can use any noodle, I'm a new spaghetti. Carbonara is a dish that doesn't have a lot of ingredients and it, it uses egg yolks, uh, pecorino romano, as well as Parmesan romano. So two, uh, pecorino is a sheep's milk, uh, parm is, is cow's milk. So two different types of cheeses. Um, it also uses pancetta. I'm gonna use this little pre-diced version that Trader Joe's sells. Uh, pancetta is just an unsmoked bacon. So you could use bacon, but it's definitely gonna add a smoky bacon flavor to your food, uh, to your dish rather. So um, get some uh, pancetta if you can find it, because it is what goes in the dish originally. Um, and it's not really carbonara if you're using bacon. So anyways, uh, it's really good, it's really easy, it's quick and I hope you give it a try. We'll see how it goes. All right, we're gonna drop half of this pack of pasta in, about half a pound. Really important that you salt this water because there's not a lot of ingredients in this. While that cooks, gonna get our pancetta going. And with this, we're just gonna cook it until it gets brown and crispy. Okay, so while the pancetta cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and make the saucy part of this, which uh, I'm gonna use about a half pound of noodles, which is like a half package of pasta. Um, so for that, I'm gonna use three egg yolks. Um, and what we do is we separate the egg whites from the egg yolks, which you just kind of do by going back and forth like this until you've got just the egg yolk. Um, and we're gonna do that with all three of them. And then what we're gonna do is mix this egg yolk mixture with the cheese that I mentioned at the top. So we're gonna do Parmesan and Pecorino. There's gonna be a little more Parmesan than Pecorino. Uh, so I'm gonna say probably three, f like a half a cup of Parm and a fourth to a third a cup of Pecorino for this amount of pasta. So we've got these, I'm just gonna eyeball this. Like I said, I'm gonna do probably half cup of parm. Okay, that's about a half cup. Then I'm gonna do a fourth to a third cup pecorino. All right, here we go. Gonna mix this up. And what you wanna see here is kind of like a yolky paste. If that doesn't sound appetizing, I don't know what does. A yolky paste is what we're looking for. It's exactly what I've got. So we've got, right, egg yolk and cheese. We're gonna add some black pepper to this. There it is. All right, this is a sauce that you make entirely in a bowl separately. Then once the noodles are about done, we're gonna throw those in with the pancetta. We're gonna turn off the heat, we're gonna stir this in. You don't wanna turn the heat on while you stir this in, which I will touch on because it will cook it and you'll make scrambled eggs. You don't want scrambled eggs. You want emulsified pasta water and egg yolky carbonara sauce. Um, so let's do it. So this has been going for six minutes or so. It's almost there. What I'm gonna do though is I'm gonna drain out a little bit of this fat and put it into this egg mi mixture over here. All right, so these noodles are almost done. And whereas most of the time, you should finish your noodles in the pan, with these, since we're gonna cut the heat, when we add in the, the sauce, the carbonara uh, egg yolk part, um, it's important that we cook these pretty much all the way up to al dente, ready to go, because um, they're not really gonna cook anymore in this pan. We're just gonna stir them into this pancetta mixture, get them all nice and coated, and then uh, stir in this, and we'll be good to go. Noodles are done.
All right, so we killed the heat. We stirred up the noodles, got them all mixed in with this nice fatty pancetta. Gonna add just a little bit more pasta water. And now we're going to vigorously toss our egg mixture and bring it all together into a creamy carbonara. Add a little more pasta water. All right. So you gotta really keep it stirred so that the eggs don't cook into scrambled eggs like I said earlier, uh, but that didn't happen here. We thinned it out with some pasta water Nice, creamy, delicious. We're gonna go plate it up. There it is, you guys. If you like bacon and eggs, this is kind of like uh, bacon and eggs with pasta, but um, again, it's pancetta and it doesn't have that smoky bacon flavor. Um, but this is really great. It's a creamy, delicious, super, super quick and easy recipe. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna go eat it. Uh, this is quite a big portion, but we'll see how far I get. Thanks for watching. Thank mm -hmm. you.